Welcome back, everyone. We are back with day nine of Kitty Teaches You How to Stardew. So yesterday we went through mm, that morning cock. Gotta love that cock a doodle do indeed. Hey, where's my kitty cat? Kitty cat. <coughs> oh wow! Excuse me. I got a frog in my throat. Something else. Anyways, yesterday we spent the day mining and going to the Adventurers Guild. So that was kind of fun. Welcome to Warwick's Oracle, the only show of the Voice of the Spirits channel directly to me. The spirits are very displeased. They'll do their best to make your life difficult. Well, thanks. So glad I pissed off the spirits today. Alright, so we got a lot of stuff going on. What we are going to do first and foremost is we are going to water our plants. Got some cauliflower going on over here. Got some seeds over here. And we're going to just test out. Can I, can I get those yet? No, I can't. Shoot. Okay. Well, anyways, we are going to see if we can at least... Ooh, I can get my potato. Uh, see if we can build a furnace today. We're gonna build some more um, Chests so we can actually keep some organization going because the more organized you're going to be the better You will be in the long run because trust me as we always say inventory space is bay You want to have as much inventory space as possible and of course as usual because I'm a perfectionist I like to have a full thing of water ready to go in the morning. Boom. There we go. We got our potato. So, as usual, you know, we're going to go find our kitty cat Whiskers. Whiskers, sweetie, where are you? Oh, hi, Whiskers. Meow. Now, here's one thing you guys can do that I haven't shown you before. You could if you wanted to. You could take your watering can and fill up your dog or cat's dish. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't give you any extra points. Your cat's not going to go thirsty if you don't. Your dog's not going to go hungry if you don't. But it's just an atostatic thing, you know, where it looks pretty. And it can make you feel really good about yourself that you're taking care of your animals. But if you don't feed or water them, don't worry. They're not going to hate you. PETA's not going to be called on you, so don't worry. Ooh, look at that. You tried to hide on me. Sneaky little thing. So let's continue on. We're going to go see if there's any job postings. If we can bring anything to anyone, that's going to be relatively easy to do. Here we go. Let's see. Tomorrow is Vincent's birthday, too. So we should probably find out what they want. Oh, a smallmouth bass to serve at my afternoon tea party. We did have a smallmouth bass. I think we threw it out. And that is the importance of keeping as many things as you possibly can. Check your trash can, check your trash can. Oh, hello, who are you? Oh yeah, you're Shane. That's right. What What do you want to go away? Wow. You're mean. You're mean. It's locked. Not until 9 o'clock. Okay, well we're going to go to the beach then. We're going to go to the beach after we dig through some more garbage cans. Because why not? It's free and one man's trash is another man's treasure or kitty's treasure or something I don't know all right let's see if we can pick up some more trash treasures along the beach and sell them for some cash because we're getting close to our 2,000 gold to upgrade our backpack which is our next biggest goal our first goal was to take 300 wood to fix that then we're gonna upgrade our backpack so we can actually carry some stuff. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, you can just, you know, not walk around with your tools. Well, you never know when you're going to need them. Um, if we came in to our farm from the south, you know, by Marnie's farm and you go up, you may not be able to get home. You may actually have to go all the way around because if you didn't bring your pickaxe or your axe to cut down trees or rocks, you may be stuck and you don't want to have that. So we're going to sell the two corals for 200, the mussel for 45, and we got like 1535. That's actually not bad. That's actually not bad at all. But instead of doing that, what we're going to do is we're going to go pick up some more cauliflower and actually some more kale. Now I know you're thinking, kitty, 
We're so close. Oh, see, here's Jazz. Hi, Jazz. What? Giggles. She's cute. Usually she won't talk to strangers, so this is actually pretty rare. Oh. Why are you just looking at your stuff? Just place anything you want to sell in the shipping box next to your house. Except for weapons, like the knife. You won't take the knife. Why? I don't know. But that's okay. Alright, we're going to go into Pierre's for sale. 2000 Not now. But I want to. Alright. We're going to grab five cauliflower. And look at that. See, 70 for the kale. But we sold it for like 110 So I mean, that's like 30 for each one. Okay. Let's see. We're going to just... Sometimes I get new items in stock, so make sure to stop by every so often. She looks like she's in a hurry. I'm not in a good mood right now. Oh, I'm sorry. This is Jody. Exercise is important for staying healthy. Always make sure to set aside some time for it. That's Sam's mom. Let me see. Is the... Ah. Uh, oh, no. That's Robin. Need material or sh for the blueprints? My shop is what you're looking for. Oh, that's right. It's Tuesday. It's the workout day for all the ladies. That's why they're all coming here. It's like, what's going on? All the ladies are going to come here to work out. This is kind of cool. We're going to kind of just kind of peek in and watch them a little bit. That's going to be good. Because I don't know if we're actually invited in there yet. Because we're not at a two heart status. There's Marnie. Marnie's the one that really needs to work that out, you know? So we're just gonna kind of wait and watch and see and they're gonna be sweating to the oldies, you know, they're gonna do a little Thai bow. So remember, if you need anything from these ladies, you need something built, you need straw for your animals, you need um, your kids watched, you know, whatever, don't plan it on Tuesdays because it's not going to happen. All right, let's see, keep going. You guys just chit-chatting? Start working out. Come on, I don't have all day. Oh, the mayor's gonna come and watch him work out too. Totally not creeping, Mr. Mayor. Totally not creeping. Okay, are they just stretching? They're just kind of staring at each other awkwardly. And Marty's really happy. I don't know why. We may have to come back. This is weird. I really feel awkward now because they're just kind of awkwardly staring at each other and everyone's just chilling. Maybe they start at one o'clock. I don't know. <clears throat> well, we're gonna go talk to the doctor. There's Harvey. Please feel free to stop on my office if you're ever feeling ill. This is Maru. Maru on Tuesdays uh, will actually when you've pushed your body too hard, drink this to remove the uh, exhaustion. Oh. So it basically gives you 50 energy for a grand. And this will restore 500 energy. Which, we're only at 270, so it's not even worth it. But yeah, Maru is the one that yelled at us for going through the trash earlier. Okay, let's go back in here. Maybe they're working out again. Aha, there they are. They are working out. Look at this. Yeah, jump rope. She's doing steps. I don't know what she's doing. Jody's lifting weights and she's just shaking her butt. Ooh, she's doing like uh, Zumba. Clapping her hands. Ooh, I like it. I like the way she dances. Dance for me. But every Tuesday, you come in here and be a creeper and watch them. It's actually kind of fun. Alright, so we sold all of our shells. We're gonna come over here and actually, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys the community center because now we can actually decipher what everything says. So why not? Ooh, you know, we're gonna come in here. Let's get rid of all this so we can actually get the fiber and maybe a couple of seeds. Did we get any seeds? No, we didn't get any seeds. But there's a flower over here. 
and there's a flower over here. And there is Miss Haley. How are you doing, Miss Haley? Nice makeup. I was like, oh, that's sweet. Oh, wait, are you even wearing any? Well, bitch, I was going to give you a flower, but I'm not going to. Oh, I lied. I did. Gas for me? Thank you. Yes, there's a bee inside. Put it real close up to your face. God, I can't stand her. Can you tell? Sorry. <laughs> I can't stand her at all. She's just... Oh, you're wearing makeup. It looks beautiful. Oh, you're not. Oh. She's just rude. I guess everyone's kind of rude to me because they don't know me. Oh, there's a Jamamamo. Jaminamo. Geronimo. It, there's Homer. <laughs> okay, so this is basically all of our spring foraging. We have everything that we need to do in here. And the reward is the bridge is going to be repaired. What that means, I'm not sure. But that's okay. So here's a daffodil. We're going to put this underneath the daffodil. Dandelion right there. We have a leek at home. We have the wild horseradish at home. So we're going to go home. We're going to go grab those. And we're going to go and finish this up. Now you guys really want to look ahead and see what your bundles are because bundles are on a time frame. You're gonna have spring, you're gonna have summer, you're gonna have fall, you're going to have winter, you're gonna have fish bundles, you're gonna have all sorts of bundles. And I'll show you all of them as soon as we get our two items and we come back. You want to complete these bundles. The very like first two or three days if possible in the new season because when you complete a bundle they'll actually give you something and most of the time it's like 10 or 30 wild seeds for that season Ooh, and those were worms so that's why you really want to um excuse me you want to get those right away because of the fact that you want to plant those seeds in that season boom done you know a wild horseradish and a leek. There we go. Should I grab this? Oh, we do have a smallmouth bass. We did keep that. Nice. Who wanted the smallmouth bass? George. George is the old man, so we can actually go drop that off too. Um, but yeah, so if you complete the bundles. You get the seeds, you can plant the seeds right away, and then you can get free cash from that because you're going to sell it. Why not? But if you're going to wait to finish your bundles on like day 18, day 20, day 25, you're not going to have enough time. And then you're going to plant them just to have the stuff die. You really don't want that at all. And that's the other thing too is, oh, is that the smallmouth bass I requested? It looks perfect. Oh, he's happy. Here's what I owe you. Let's see. 150 for the fish. That's some good money for the fish. That's some real good money for the fish. Let's see. Let's go back up here. There's Maru. Everyone's changing places now. Hi, Maru. Have you met my mother? She's the town carpenter. Yeah, she was working out earlier. We were watching. I'm, I mean, we were... You know, talking to her a little bit and um, just to continue oh, I went the wrong way sorry even I get lost in this game remember guys check out how long it takes for seeds to be planted 12 days to produce this six days for this harvest with the scythe now make sure you remember because the days change obviously but after 28 days it goes to a new season and all of your crops will die. So if, if I was going to plant this on day 20, it's not going to work because there's only 28 days and eight days into it, everything's gonna die. So you can't really work it like that. Okay, so here's the spring foraging. We're actually going to, let's see, construction bundles gonna give you 99 of both of these, 99 stone, 10 hardwood. Here's the fall, common mushroom, wild plum, hazelnuts, blackberries, and these fall foraging, these foraging bundles are stuff that you're going to be able to find on the ground. It's not exactly stuff that you're going to grow. 
the coconut you can find in the desert. This is all uh, stuff that you would have to tap on the trees. You've got cactus root, cave carrots. Obviously, you can find those in the caves. You got your mushrooms. See, here's the summer foraging, the spice berry, the grapes, and the sweet peas. Once again, all stuff that you're going to find on the ground, in the snow, easy peasy stuff. So here we go. And I put these in the wrong order, but it still works. Bundle complete. Goes my little balloon. And we got 30 spring seeds. So now we got a lot of seeds to plant. And once we're done with this room, another room's going to open up. Or another room's going to open up right now. Or two rooms are going to open up. Okay, so I think typically once you finish up one room, another one will open. Now here's a tip too. You don't always have to come to the community center in order to see this. You can just hit your inventory button and go here to community center. And you can switch through all of them. Once you fish, finish the fish tank, this, you get the glittering boulder removed. Once you finish the grass room, you get the bridge repaired. Once you finish the pantry, you get your greenhouse. This is amazing. Here's the pantry. Spring crops. They want a parsnip, a green bean, a cauliflower, and a potato. Animal bundles. You're going to have to get all of this stuff. Duck eggs, wool, large goat, large egg, large brown egg, large milk, fall crops, all the little bit of crops, artisans. This is Look at all this stuff. We're going to need all of this. This is not this is not something we're going to rush through. This is something that's going to pretty much take a full year. And this right here, guys, important. Anything that you have that's a yellow star, make a separate chest for. Put it all in there because in the fall, you are going to need to have gold item objects to uh, to showcase so you can win. And if you have a little bit of everything, you know, your veggies, your fruit, your flowers, your honey, your syrups, you know, whatever, the more variety you have, and they all need to be gold, otherwise you're not going to win. So you want to do that. And plus, this is going to be a spring item, summer item, and these are uh, summer and fall items. So always just keep everything. Let's see. Then let's go over here, the Jumanjamo, Jaminjamo, just taking my stuff away. This is the fish bundles. Here's all your river fish, sunfish, catfish, shad, tiger trout. You got the specialty fish, the puffer fish, the ghost fish, the sand fish, the wood skip. Here we go, sardines, tuna, red snapper, tilapia the crab pot bundle. So we're going to need all of this stuff. A lot of that we can pick up on the beach. Large mouth bass, carp, bullhead, sturgeon, nighttime fish with a walleye, bream, and eel. So I don't even need the chub. I don't even need the chub. I brought it out here and I didn't even need it. So remember guys, keep everything. You don't want to get rid of anything. You really don't. Keep an extra, you know, box of inventory for stuff that you just want to recycle for later on because you're going to get refined quartz for probably 70% of that. The other stuff, you'll get coal, you'll get wood, you'll get uh, torches, and you can sell it for a lot more than you'll sell trash for, which is a big fat <laughs> zero. You can sell the three torches for five or ten coins, you know? So, what we're going to do right here, we are going to plant our stuff. We're going to plant our kale. And, let's see. We're going to put our cauliflower over here. Oh, that was it. Okay. The seeds go by pretty quickly. Okay, and we're going to one, two. Just kind of do it like this. Now the spring seeds, I'm not sure what we're going to have in here. So we're just going to kind of put them out there and we'll see what we get later on. It's 
it's kind of nice because sometimes you get good stuff, sometimes you don't. It doesn't really matter, but you know what? It's free. What is this? Yeah, spring seeds. And we can always make more of these. It's really cheap to make this and craft it, so it's actually kind of easy to do. Oops. And that hitbox, that damn hitbox. Okay, there we go. Now, here we go. If you guys want to craft the spring seeds, you basically just need one of the each of the four items that you need for that bundle mix. The horseradish, the daffodil, the leek, and the dandelion will give you 10 seeds, which is actually pretty good. And then with those 10 seeds, you can actually get more. So it's gonna be really kind of nice to do that. And now it's getting late. So we're actually gonna just use the rest of our energy to cut down some of these trees, clean up a little bit more. As long as we're in bed by midnight, we're okay. So let's do this. We can't get rid of the tree stumps. Not the big, uh, we can't get rid of these big ones, but uh, we can actually cut down the ones that we uh, break off. We actually need to upgrade our tools for the other ones. Keep an eye on our energy levels so we don't pass out because that would be horrendous. Take care of this one too. Oops. I hate wasting energy for no reason. Now, if you guys wanted to, you can actually do this. You can actually take your hoe and hit these and pop those up. And that means the tree is not going to grow there anymore you also get the seed and you can you remember you can use those seeds to make the trail mix if you have enough let's see these or the field snacks one acorn one maple seed and one pine cone and then you can actually craft that and I could show you what those do too we just need to find a pine cone which I'm sure we can find over here you can also right click to shake the trees too but I don't have enough energy to cut it down, so I might just clear this out a little bit. Let's see, shake this, no. Uh, let's see. Just seeing if I can hoe one of these. No, I can't, okay. 15, starting to feel exhausted. 14. Okay, well, let me have to show you another time. Not a big deal, not a big deal. Mm -hmm. I just want to see if I could. Uh, I don't see any down here either. That would be a 100% real one. Okay. Not a big deal. So let's go put our stuff away. Put this in here. All that away. And actually what we're going to do, we're gonna quickly craft another one of these, another one of those, and another one of these. Because more chests are gonna be better. Okay. And we can color code these. This is going to be like our miscellaneous one. So, you know, I'll kind of put this in black. This one's going to be our food. So, you know, we'll make this green. This one's going to be all of the fish that we catch. So we're going to make this one blue. And this one is going to be all of our specialty items. So we're going to put that in there. So, let's see. Uh, food... Let's see, we're actually gonna keep that in here and take all the food items out. Let's see, food, 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 food. Actually, no, that's water. This is a water item. Put this in there. It's a fish, food. We're actually gonna keep the acorns in there. Specialty. Oops, okay. Food items in here. 
we're gonna put our mining stuff in here and our blue one and you can always change your colors anytime that you want I like blue because of the ocean this is the way I typically will uh, sort through my stuff Let's see. and you can always organize it however you want later on we can take this to the blacksmith I think we'll do this tomorrow and we'll take this to the museum and donate it and it's oops go to my quartz and actually you know what let's do this really quick because we got time let's take our iron we're gonna craft 20 copper ore and 25 stone you know what let's do this really quick we are going to craft a furnace nice so we got our furnace we're gonna place it right here up against the up against that and what we can do is we can actually take our coal, oops, smelting. Use your furnace to smelt a copper bar. Smelting is actually gonna take five ore. So since we have 18, right click on that, it automatically takes five of them and one coal, and it's going to put it in here and it's going to smelt it and burn it and give us a bar. Now I know it's 12 o'clock, so we're gonna just grab this and run and go to sleep. <coughs> there it is. There's our copper bar. Into the journal, advancement, deeper in the mines. Did it actually do anything? It didn't, but that's okay. So we're gonna be going to sleep right now. Yes, hopefully we'll get our full energy for tomorrow. Oh, wait a minute, what happened? Oh, probably because we didn't sell anything, so we didn't get any money. Poop. Well, that's okay. So we are going to continue this tomorrow when Kitty can show you how to stardew. Good night, everyone.